E911 officers in Cobb County hear it all during the course of their careers. They are the key connection between those people calling 911 for help and often needing it quickly and those first responders who will rush to the scene. Many times during the course of the day, they pick up the phone and there's no one on the other line. Most of the time, those are mistaken calls or kids playing on the phone. But they try to call back every 911 hang up to see if somebody really needs help. And as E911 officer Desmond Harris found out recently, sometimes there is someone who needs help, but just can't come out and say it. Hello? Yes, this is 911. We received a call from your phone. Do you have an emergency? Yeah. Within the first couple of seconds, you can tell something was going on. So yeah, I can go shopping tomorrow. Hello? Something wasn't right. Did you hear me? I can go shopping tomorrow with you. I have uh, someone in my Uber car right now. She talked to me as if I was a girlfriend or a friend. Nope. Uh, I can't really be on the phone. OK, what street are you going, ma'am? Uh, North Marietta. OK, so North, near where? What are you passing by? Uh, what was? A calls like this, you have to figure it out. So you have to ask a different set of questions to get to that. Okay, are you not able to speak because of your Uber fare? Yes. She was scared. Definitely scared and uncertain. Didn't know really what was going to happen. Did they make any threats towards you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. My first thought is figure out what's going on with her, calm her down, make sure that this call stays on course. Okay, you're doing great, all right. Just try to get help to her as quick as possible. Are you in a sedan, SUV, or a pickup truck? Oh, no, tomorrow I can bring my Tundra because it's got the pink lights on the rim and it's so cool. I just knew that she needed some type of help and from what I got from it, there was a guy in the car with some type of weapon and things weren't going well. I assume it was a her Uber fare. And that's about all I know. So tomorrow you want to meet me? I'm just passing the fire. OK, you're doing great, all right? This is why I signed up to do this. This is, this is why I became a dispatcher, to help people. And that's what I did. I need help. So the driver is in the Toyota, I'm correct? I'm not calling for backup. I'm getting out of this car. I'm not running. Ray, we're currently taking the vehicle stop in the middle of North Lake at Barnes Mill. Clear North Lake at Barnes Mill. I heard her open her door and it sounded like she took off running, or at least she walked to the officers. So I knew that she was okay then. Harris told me 911 officers often never learn what happens in the calls that they take. In this case, though, Marietta police did make an arrest. Omari Coltorse was jailed on a charge of felony terroristic threats. Marietta PD lauded both Harris and the Uber driver for their calm demeanor during this episode that barely lasted seven minutes. Cobb's 911 center is always looking for qualified and motivated E911 officers. All of the training for that is now done right here in Marietta. Harris says he loves his job. He's been doing it for four years. He gets to help people, and he hopes his latest episode will prompt others to join his team. Do it. Come join us in this crazy, crazy, but amazing job.